Welcome to the Color Light course. This video will introduce you to the Media Player Quick Start. Let's focus on the interface of the Media Player. This is the power connector of the Media Player. The working voltage is 12 volts DC, and it adopts the spiral locking design, which can strengthen the stability of the power connector of the Media Player. There are two RJ11 ports for the sensor's connection, which can monitor the environmental information of the screen. This is the USB port, can be directly connected to the computer through the USB cable for control. This is a 100 Mbps Ethernet port. The player can be controlled through the Ethernet cable into the local area network. Players can connect to the internet via the 100 Mbps Ethernet port so that cloud service is available also. This is the 3.5 mm audio output port for stereo audio output. This is the HDMI input port which is used to input the video signal source when the player is in sync working mode. This is the HDMI loop port and Ethernet port, which are used to output the, uh, the HDMI signal and Ethernet signal. According to the number of pixels on your screen, there are different numbers of Ethernet port media players for your choice. As for signal, the Wi-Fi antenna and 4G antenna are located at the two ends of the player. It should be noted that the Wi-Fi antenna is cylindrical, while the 4G antenna is flat, and they should not be mixed. When you get the new media player, you can use the USB or LAN port to connect to the control computer. It should be noted that if the Ethernet cable is connected directly to the player, the computer's IP should be set to Obtain Automatically mode. At this time, you can open the computer client software, Player Master. Colorlight Media Player can be controlled by both PC and mobile phone. The software is available as a PC client, Player Master, and as a mobile application, Lead Assistant, which can be downloaded from the download page of the Colorlight website. You can also rename your media player after logging in with a new username and password. This makes it more convenient to search for the specific device when managing your device and publishing programs. The bottom menu enables you to check the schedule, adjust the brightness, color temperature, volume, time, power, network, switch between signals, change the device language, and access advanced settings and monitoring features. Here, you can automatically synchronize the computer time or manually set the time and time zone. When using the media player for the first time, you can open the advanced settings in the Player Master software with the password 168, where you can set the resolution of the screen. In the lower toolbar of the Player Master software, you can click on the Network button, where we can choose to use Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi Hotspot, LAN, 4G, to allow your media player to be controlled wirelessly and publish programs. If you want to use Cloud Control, first switch Player Master to Cloud Mode, then log in to your Cloud account and drag and drop your connected devices onto the Cloud so that the Cloud platform is ready to use. That's all for this video. Thanks for watching.